Hello basketball coaches, Ron Silico here. What I want to do in this video presentation is talk about the flare screen. The flare screen is my favorite screen for getting perimeter shooters open for jump shots. And the reason I think it's so effective is it's got a reverse action to it that contradicts what normally is sound fundamental defensive play. And what I mean by that is most defensive sound fundamentals center around a situation where your ball, you, man, you representing the defender, always staying between the basketball and his offensive assignment. And then the other component is whenever a pass is made, jumping to the basketball, taking a step towards the ball, sometimes two steps, one, two steps towards the basket to prevent the face cut and cutters moving towards the basketball. Well, the flare screen is working opposite of that, which I think creates great screening angles which I hope to demonstrate, and great opportunities for the cutter, or if the defense really steps out, it's created such a nice spacing situation that the guy screening is, a, is able to make a nice dive to the basket for a nice basket cut and potential layup. I've got three nice videos that really illustrate this concept of the flare screen and how open shooters can get off of it thing I want you to note is in every situation and which is the correct fundamental technique is the screener has his butt pointed towards the corner of the basket ball court so the corners where the baseline and the sidelines meet that's the, wherever the screener is coming from on that side of the floor their butt is pointed towards the corner which creates a nice screening angle the first video I want to show you here and in all three videos I'm going to go frame by frame to talk about them and then you can see the real-time action on on what happened so this is an old Indiana Iowa tape going to show Steve Alford here in a moment so Indiana is bringing the ball up the floor and it's actually this is actually a nice play in general to show Indiana is going to run with what's called a guard cross so the ball is going to be brought up the left side of the floor Steve Alford, who is our shooter, is going to cut in front of the ball going from right to left. And is going to get two screens right around the foul line and foul line elbow area for the jump shot. So you can see right at the, right the half-court area, Steve Alford is going to begin his guard cross here in a moment. And this is where the action is going to start happening. First screener at the foul line. I'm actually not sure that this, this first guy meant to set a screen on Steve Alford's guy, but Steve Alford, being the smart cutter that he was, ran this. will run the defender right into this screen, which happens right there. Now this is where our real flare screen is happening. You can see the butt towards the corner of the court. That The defender is already... Been hit with the first screen. He's been hit with the second one right here. You can see butt open to the ball. The screener defender did nothing to help or show or hedge in any manner. It's important that the guy handling the basketball brings the ball back towards the action, has a nice passing angle, a nice short pass for of about 10 to 15 feet. All of those things have happened. And you could see wide open, wide open, wide open shot, good result. So here it is in fast time. Go to it again. So here it is, ball coming up the floor, flare screen, wide open jump shot. Second video clip to show, uh, these two are from Ohio State, the Jim O'Brien years when they had the great Scooney Penn, Michael Red backcourt, and really used the, the flare screen more effectively and more frequently than anyone I've ever seen. So in this scenario, and we'll run it frame by frame again, our shooter is going to be Scooney Penn right here. So what he's going to do is get open for a pass, which he catches right here. This guard is going to clear out to the other side of the floor. This guard's going to come over for ball reversal. 
now this is where the action started happening. Pass was made to the top. See, our defender is in good, typical, fundamental defensive position. He's ball you man. Our screener is setting up a nice angle here where his butt's to the corner of the court. The one thing I don't like is I don't think the cutter rubbed off the shoulders of the screener enough. You still want to teach that. But you can see nice screening form, nice wide base. The defender guarding the screener is playing off, not really in a position to show on this. Good short passing angle. Great screen right here. Defender is starting to show a little bit. And you can see now, as we're getting closer, the defender guarding the screener is really showing. And you can see, basket cut's going to be available right here. Had the player chosen to not shoot the basketball and make the pass inside, it would have been a wide open layup. You can see, cutter would have been wide open, rolling off his screen. But in this case, the jump shot was open as well. What this does is creates a great rebounding opportunity because this player is going to have great inside rebounding position. So take this back to the beginning so you can see it real time. Wide open shot. And the third video I want to show you from the same game, same team, different shooter, Michael Red instead of Scooney Penn. What you're actually going to see here, Michael Red is going to cut up top, receive a pass, get rid of the ball, and then get a shot actually from the same spot from the previous video that you just saw. So he's received the pass. This is going to be our shooter. Scooney Penn, our guard, is going to clear out to the other side of the floor. Actually, our screener is setting one screen here and then is just getting ready to set another one here. Which is nice because it does create some separation between the, the defender guarding the screener and the screener. Pass is about to be made. You can see this was a longer pass, so this guard really has to bring the ball back towards the action. Nice screening angle, butt to the corner of the court. In this situation, the defender is going to actually go underneath the screen, and you're going to see a wide open jump shot. Looking good here. This is almost a switch situation where the screen screener defender is now really trying to show, but he's not going to get there in time. Uncontested jump shot. Defender's hands aren't even up for the shot, contesting it. So a nice clean look for the perimeter. And again, this is something that you really want to use for your great perimeter shooters. Again, we'll show this real time. Screen. Ball brought to the shooter. Wide open shot. 